Hola's and bienvenidos. This is Crypto Alex USA with the Mine 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 channel, the place to be for the newest information on GPU, ASIC mining, as well as some market news of some of your favorite cryptos. Today we will be discussing how to mine two different coins on Hive OS. My example is going to be an eight card Octomine rig with five RX 5600 six gig and they're mining Ethereum and three Sapphire RX 584 gig mining Ethereum Classic. This can be done on both Hive OS and on Windows but cannot on Simple Miner so I won't be discussing that in this how to. In order for this to work you need to use two different miners. You can't use the same miner to mine both coins at the same time. In my example I use Team Red Miner on the RX 5600's mining Ethereum and Phoenix Miner on the RX 584 gig mining Ethereum Classic. This tutorial is how to mine two coins and not how to set up Hive OS on your rig. I am making certain assumptions that you already have knowledge of Hive and or Windows mining. This is the rig that I'm going to show you how to run ETC and Ethereum. I have three Sapphire RX 580 four gigs uh, mining ETC. And over here I have five RX 5600s uh, running on Ethereum. Uh, I have a gigabyte and I have four ASRocks. Um, one thing I noticed on the ASRocks, they run a lot cooler on the memory than the gigabyte. They, they work really well. I was actually surprised. I would have figured the gigabyte would be better, but you can see the cooling mechanism on the ASRocks are better than the gigabyte. Look how thin that is compared to this one that's much, much larger and has more space to dissipate heat. Um, I'm also running this with two 850 power supplies, one on each side. And it's, it's a good rule of thumb to keep your wattage around 80%. 70 would be preferably, would prefer, but with 80%, you're able to take advantage of the most efficient uh, usage of the power. The, if you go over 80%, it'll work, but then it'll start losing uh, its efficiency. You could run a 1000 watt uh, power supply on 950 watts or maybe even up to 1000, but it's really not a good idea. Uh, it doesn't run as efficient. And also you're gonna lose, uh, lose uh, the lifespan or gonna have a shorter lifespan of the PSU itself. They're also connected to an HTC Pro 110 uh, BTC. Uh, it has 13 ports. I like these motherboards. They're hard to come by. They're expensive now, but these are the best because you get out another five on here. I have eight GPUs as you can see. And of course, just a regular G series Intel um, CPU. And I'm also running these off of M.2 uh, instead of a hard drive or a USB stick. I'll do a video on how to do an M.2. It's a little, has a, it's a little bit of work, but it's the best. Uh, it runs, you know, sometimes your USBs don't boot for whatever reason, but these boot every single time. Also, if you don't have one of these, I know I have a couple things on there, but I have a electrical um, network ether adapter that goes to the worst electricity. And then I have this Belkin Wemo, Wemo, Wemo sorry, that it's great because it, it's, it, uh, it measures how much power your rig is using and even calculates how much electricity. Okay, so here we are at my Hive OS. I have two rigs, uh, all my other rigs on my farm on Simple Miner because I, they're, they're not local to me. But with, uh, I really like Hive OS because of the functionality, how robust it is, scalable, and you know, how well programmed, how, how well you can program certain things on there and tasks. It is, does have a learning curve compared to Simple Miner or Windows Miner. But once you get used to it, it's really, really powerful. So here, as you can see, my miner here has uh, 208.5 mega hash on Team Red Miner mining Ethereum. And here, my Ethereum Classic on 97.83 mining with Phoenix Miner um, on that rig. Now, if I open my rig, you'll see I have one, two, three, four, five, 5600 XT, six gigabyte mining on Ethereum and one, two, three Sapphire RX 580s mining uh, Ethereum Classic. Now the trick here is when you use Team Red Miner and Phoenix Miner, Team Red Miner uses zero to seven 
while Phoenix Miner uses one to eight. So you gotta keep that in mind because I made the mistake of using zero for both and it started mining on the same cards and it really messed it up and made it complicated where it didn't work well. So uh, let's go into here the configuration. You can see where uh, once you um, upgrade these or flash them to higher speeds, you could push these uh, numbers higher, especially the RX 580s. You know, here's some of the things I have, and I'm getting some pretty good hashes, almost 33 here, 32 here, and almost 32 and 32, and this one's almost 33. Now, let's go into our flight sheet, and we could take a look at that, and you can see where I have uh, on this flight sheet, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic mining. One's mining to Nexo, and the reason I do that is great because my Ethereum goes to Nexo, and I'm able to pull out 50% uh, of the value of my crypto, especially Ethereum and Bitcoin. They're 50%. Other ones are 25, but these are the top two coins that get that 50% loan to value. And the minimum loan amount is 500. So once you mine $1,000 worth of Ethereum, you could take out $500 and use it to buy more cards or more, uh, more software or more uh, coins. Um, here's Ethereum Classic, and I mined this to SafePal, and you're wondering why are you mining to SafePal? Well, you can't mine it to Ethereum, uh, uh, Ethereum Classic to Nexo because it doesn't have Ethereum Classic. And on SafePal, you can mine it there and convert it into Ethereum. So that one's pretty interesting that I, could, I do that. So that's what I do. I mine Ethereum Classic, which is pretty good and close to what you earn on Ethereum uh, regular with the 8 gigs, and just convert it to Ethereum right away. Um, another one that does accept um, ETC is Celsius and that they do uh, do loans on Ethereum Classic if you want to hold your Ethereum Classic. I'll have a link for the Nexo and, and uh, the, the, um, the uh, Celsius so that way you'll know you know you can have access to that and do that if, if, if you so desire. So going into the into the flight sheet, it's all pretty easy. You have you know two separate miners. Ethereum for Nexo on a Ethermine and it's using Team Red Miner. And then you have ETC going to my SafePal wallet on the Ethermine uh, pool as well, you know, using my Phoenix Miner. Now, like I said before, if you go to Team Red Miner, it uses 0 to 7. So it's 0, 2, 3, 6, and 7. There you go. Let's go. 0, 2, 3, 6, and 7. While if you go to the Ethereum Classic, you'll see that it's 2, 5, and 6. Again, no 0. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Very important you set it up that way. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So once you set that up, you go ahead and hit the little rocket ship, ship and it should start mining right away. So... You're wondering, how do I know it's working? Well, you go to your overview and you'll see that these will start popping up little by little and start increasing over time. And if you need to, if you don't have it on the timer for a refresh, then you go ahead and hit the refresh button here and it'll give you the, 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 new, the new amounts, you know, whatever the hash rate is. So uh, that's it for this. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, ask below. Also, if you like this video, please uh, hit a like, smash that button, and also give me uh, a subscribe. You know, I'm going to grow this channel. I'm going to be doing as much content as I can. It's going to be mostly mining, but I will be talking about also different projects from time to time that I really like. And DeFi, which I'm really heavily in. You know, one of my favorite DeFi's is KuSwap, as you can see here. It's one of the best out there. So, thank you, and um, enjoy the rest of the day.